So you're thinking about moving to Dayton, Ohio, and you have no idea where to start. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you the top five website resources to find a home in either Dayton or Cincinnati. And yes, some of the usual suspects are there, but you'll definitely want to hang around until the end because I promise you've never heard about the best one, and I'm going to show you why it's the best. So stay tuned. We're going to dig into it right now. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Dayton, Ohio, make sure hit that subscribe button, tap the little bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the market here in Dayton. My name is Mike Wall. I am the team leader of the Love Ohio Living Team. We are the number one real estate resource here in Dayton on YouTube. We've helped over 1,500 families buy and sell here in the Dayton area. We absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to make a move in the next nine days or 90, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or schedule a Zoom call in the link below. We'd be happy to help you make the smooth move to Dayton. Okay, so before we go inside and get started, I'm gonna tell you how we rated these five websites. And this is based on feedback from a lot of the buyers that we worked with who told us what was important to them. Number one being accuracy, right? How important is the data that I'm seeing? And accuracy is important, especially in a market with low inventory and lots of buyers because the data that you're seeing could be old data or expired listings or houses that are already under contract, right? You don't wanna waste time on that. Number two being privacy, meaning if I put my email or phone number in, am I gonna get all kinds of advertisements, calls and text messages? I don't want that, right? And then number three um, is the end user experience, right? Is the site easy to use? So we're gonna look at those three metrics for these five sites and you're gonna let me know what you think when we're all done. Okay, so here we go. Starting off with number five on my screen here, as you can see, is Trulia.com. That's T-R-U-L-I-A.com, Trulia, which was uh, actually acquired by Zillow in February of 2015 and has since become the redheaded stepchild, if you will. Still a great search website. Uh, in terms of traffic, they do make up quite a bit, um, coming in at 15100000 million, 100,000. Um, visits every single month so they do get a ton of traffic a lot of consumers like the website because it is user friendly uh, there is a mapping feature as you can see here on the right and then a list feature on the left very similar and you'll see uh, to both realtor.com and zillow and most of these websites are going to be fairly similar the thing you want to note here is that while most are similar, in other words, you can get to where you want to go based on, you know, a map, based on a list, based on certain filters. And by filters, I mean, you know, obviously price range, area, amenities, things like that. Uh, just arrive there in a, in, in a different way. And what happens behind that is obviously what's really important. So most of these websites, if not all of them, will get an A or an A+. Plus on end user experience, but truly a, no different. Uh, it is, uh, it is accurate. In, in fact, it is, uh, it is fairly accurate compared to Zillow, uh, and or realtor.com. I think you're splitting hairs there. The challenge you run into in most cases on, uh, on truly is that it is, uh, it's data overload, right? Imagine they're getting uh, an IDX feed from every single MLS in the country. So it's basically data overload. So it's very hard to manage all of that data because there's so much of it. So to stay on top of new listings on, uh, on solds, on houses going under contract is extremely difficult. So what you may find there is a lag in the time it takes from a property to go live till the consumer can actually see it and then till it actually goes under contract. So just keep in mind that some of the houses you'll see on Trulia, and this is true for Zillow as well, uh, and to a certain extent, realtor.com, some of those houses that you're seeing are probably already under contract and it's frustrating as all get out 
trust me, we talk to consumers and we try and direct them to different sites uh, based on the accuracy alone. So accuracy, I would give uh, I would give Trulia a B or a B minus. And uh, I, I think in terms of end user experience, it's it's really good. I think I would give it an A and privacy. OK, so if you enter in your information in and in some cases, let's just say you create a you, you know, you're, you're creating a profile. So automatically you're giving them your name typically and your email address at least. And so here, the, the thing you'll run into with uh, with Zillow, Realtor.com and truly is once you plug in your information, they will actually give that information away or sell it to their ancillary partnerships with insurance, mortgage, um, home security. And so you'll be inundated at the very least by emails. And if you put in your phone number, yes, you are going to receive phone calls as well, not only from the site. Uh, ensuring that you're getting what you need, but also from some of these ancillary partnerships. So buyer beware, right? The next site is the biggest, the largest, right? The the giant, if you will, Zillow.com. That's Z-I-L-L-O-W.com. And if you don't know about Zillow, where in the heck have you been hiding over the last five years? Uh, Zillow gets uh, the lion's share of website traffic as it relates to home search. They're at 68 million, 300,000 visitors per month. And that is absolutely insane. And the reason why they get so many visitors is because they do the best advertisements, right? We see advertisements online for Zillow. We see advertisements on TV for Zillow. So they just do a really good job at advertising. Now, they leave a lot to the imagination when it comes to accuracy. Again, running into some of those same problems, right? It's data overload. They're managing so much data that it's very hard to keep uh, up to date with all of the newest listings, all of the listings going under contract and all of the listings selling. So again, running into some of those same problems we ran into over on Trulia. So accuracy, uh, I would give a, a B or a B minus to Zillow. The um, end user experience, Again, this is an A or an A plus, guys. I love Zillow. They have um, very easy tools to get you where you need to go in terms of the type of home you're looking for in whatever area you're looking for. So there is a ton. Um, there's a ton if you're, I'll say this too. For, for instance, myself, I don't know a lot about the local websites in Florida. I'm here in Ohio, but my wife and I are looking for um, a beach house, right? And so naturally we go to the place that advertises the best, which is Zillow. Uh, and, and so I don't know a lot about any of the, the local web search sites there in Florida, but if I did, I would probably use those because they're probably a little more accurate. Uh, so Zillow does the best job in advertising and that's why they see the most visitors, right? Uh, privacy, same thing, right? They sell your number, your, your information to their ancillary partnerships. So you will receive spam emails. You will, you will get uh, phone calls if you plug in your information, mostly to ensure that you're getting what you need from the site. And especially if you're, if you're, you're, you're requesting a showing or a tour on a specific property, uh, property, excuse me, you will definitely get a phone call uh, setting that up for you. Okay, so moving right along to number three, and we've all heard, or at least most of us have heard from Realtor.com as well. Uh, this site is the second most visited site at 38,100,100 visitors uh, per month. So they, again, uh, they're about, well, they're a little over half of what Zillow is and they do a really good job of advertising, right? And this is supposed to be um, um, our, as real estate agents, this is supposed to be our representative site. Um, and I do have some, obviously some, some, um, some discrepancies with that because they basically take our leads and sell our own leads back to us. And we pay a membership fee through the national association of realtors. There's a big to do. I get it. You know, obviously they are a for-profit entity and they need to make money just like any other business. But, um, I digress. The site is fantastic. They get a ton of traffic. They do a great job advertising. And uh, the site is the most accurate of the three national search portals. So if you have to use one of the, the three national search portals, Realtor.com is probably the most accurate. I will say, though, it is um, from a privacy perspective, 
they're doing the same thing that both Zillow and Trulia are. They're selling your information to ancillary partnerships like um, security companies like ADT. They're also selling your information to mortgage companies. So you're going to get calls and emails about financing uh, and then uh, also insurance com home homeowners insurance companies as well. So you'll you'll start getting spam emails when you plug your information into those sites, because again, they're, they're selling your information. They're a, pro a for profit entity and they're making money uh, from those things. So realtor.com here is the interface here. Uh, this one's a little different. It does it does have a mapping feature, but it doesn't show the mapping feature on uh, its uh, first page. So it, this is just a list feature. Again, lots of photos. If I click on a listing here, I'm going to get, you know, some really good photographs and uh, I can scroll through those. All three of these websites are fed by IDX feeds from uh, their respective MLSs. So in Dayton here, they come from the Dayton Area Board of Realtors. In Cincinnati, they come from the Cincinnati Area Board of Realtors. And uh, in most cases, again, there is a, a delay from when properties are listed to when they actually show up on Zillow. And in a in an aggressive market like what we have been in, uh, it, it can be very frustrating to go on Zillow, Trulia, or Realtor.com, look at a property that appears new, and then when you call in, it's already pending. So keep that in mind. The next two you may or may not have heard of, and the cool thing about the next two sites is they're both local sites, and I love local websites because number one, they don't have the data overload that some of these national portals do they're only managing one or two MLSs. And, and in the case of Search Sin De Homes, right? So it's Search, S-E-A-R-C-H-C-I-N, so short for Cincinnati, Day, D-A-Y, short for Dayton, homes.com, Search Sin De Homes. It is only fed by two MLSs, the Cincinnati MLS and the Dayton MLS. So not managing a ton of data, super accurate and uh, very user friendly. I will say Search Sin De Homes, will uh, actually call you if you register on their site, but it's more from the standpoint of, hey, is there anything we can do to ser service your real estate needs? They're not selling you anything. They don't sell any of your data. So that's fantastic. And they just kind of let you go about your business. Uh, so for an accuracy, they get an A+. All of the IDX feeds are in real time. In other words, when a listing goes in to either the Cincinnati or Dayton MLS, because those are the IDX feeds that feed this particular site. It's there within five minutes. And that's extremely important in a market like what we have been in, where inventory is low and you need to act on things extremely quickly to make sure you get your offer in for consideration. So that is number two. Number one is, of course, my own site, the Love Ohio Living Team site. And I absolutely love this one because it will check all of your boxes, right? For accuracy, again, only fed by two IDX feeds, the Dayton and the Cincinnati MLSs, right? So extremely accurate when a property goes in to the MLS, it's there within five minutes. All of the data is accurate. Same thing when a property goes under contract and same thing when a property is marked as sold, it's removed. So that's very helpful. Um, from a privacy standpoint, you won't get any calls unless you ask for a call. And also they do not sell your information to any ancillary services. No, no, no spam emails, no calls from strangers, right? It's just if you if you register on the site and you ask for property alerts based on your specific search criteria, it will send those to you. But otherwise, it will leave you alone. And that's how pe most people prefer to search, at least until they're ready to go see a property. So for me, the Love Ohio Living Team dot com website is the absolute best because it will check all of your boxes as it relates to privacy, as it relates to accuracy, and the end user experience is just as good as any of these other sites. So number one site for real estate search in both Dayton and Cincinnati, loveohiolivingteam.com. Number two is searchsendayhomes.com. Number three, realtor.com. 
number four, Zillow.com, and number five, Trulia.com. Hey guys, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, then video must be worth a million. I absolutely love doing these videos to help educate you because we know the most educated buyers, they get the best deals, they find the best properties, and usually have the best experience. My name is Mike Wall. I am the team leader of the Love Ohio Living Team here in Dayton. We are the number one resource for real estate on YouTube here in Dayton. We've served over 1,500 families over the last eight years. We absolutely love it. And whether you're making a move in the next nine days or 90 days, it doesn't matter. We got your back when moving to Dayton, Ohio. Feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom call in the link below here. And we'd be happy to help you make the smooth move to Dayton. Thank you so much for watching.